In this video, we're going to do the three basic kinds of transformations. We're going to translate, we're going to reflect, and we're going to dilate. In the first instance, we're going to translate. And remember, translate is like transportation. All we're doing is moving over. So if I have a point here at negative 3, negative 3, and I want to translate it by 5, comma, 4, that means that I need to add 5 to x and 4 to the y value. So I start at my point and I add 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to my x. I add 1, 2, 3, 4 to my y. And my new point is going to be at 2, comma 1. It's 2 units over and 1 unit up. This time we're going to translate by negative 3, comma 2. Because it's negative 3, we're going to take x minus 3. But it's still positive 2, so we're going to have y plus 2. So we start at our point, and we go 1, 2, 3 to the left, and 1, 2 up. And that gets us to our new point at negative 2, comma 4. The second type of transformation we like to do is a reflection. And the way we do this is we try to draw the line of the reflection and then we measure the distance from our point to that line and keep going the same distance on the other side of the line. In this case, our line is the y-axis. The y-axis goes straight up and down the middle of our graph. We figure out how far our point is from the line by counting steps. One, two, three. We keep going the same distance on the other side. One, two, three. And that gets us our new point. The last type of transformation we're going to do is a dilation, which makes things bigger or smaller. When you see a scale factor, you know that's what you're going to use to multiply. So if you have a scale factor of 2, everything is going to be times 2. So your point at 1, 1, when you multiply by 2, will become 2, 2. Your point at 1, negative 2 will become 2, negative 4. And your last point at 2, comma 2, when you multiply each one by 2, will become negative 4, comma 4. You can then join up your dots again. Then you have your new shape, which is twice as big.